do, do you think that maybe comparing her to the Grand Wizard and and the, the notion of what she said to being a modern leader of the KKK was maybe a step too far? Or you stand by what you said? I stand by what I said to provoke an open and honest discussion in this country. Yes, open and honest discussion. That is presidential hopeful Vivek Ramaswamy, so-called entrepreneur, but we'll get into what he actually is. Defending his words about Representative Ayanna Presley saying that she is a modern leader of the KKK. How, why, what did he say? What did she say? Let's get into it. So. His comments were made on Friday during a campaign stop in Iowa. He tacked on to his argument that progressive progressives exhibit racism when they criticize people of color for not appropriate, appropriately supporting racial equity. When he was asked if critics would blame him for supporting white supremacy, he responded by quoting a previous comment of Ayanna Presley's that she did not want any more black individuals who did not want to be a black voice. He then critically quoted author Ibram X. Kendi's book, How to Be an Anti-Racist, which conservatives have frequently criticized as pushing critical race theory. And he said in, in all of that, quote, These are the words of the modern grand wizards of the modern KKK. Um, Now, I just want to, let's see. I want to go back to Dana Bash uh, asking Vivek Ramaswamy because he eventually was forced to just say, uh, I was was doing something provocative, but it took a while to get there. So here's Dana Bash. Well, how in any way are the views you're talking about comparable to the views and atrocities committed by the KKK. What I said is the Grand Wizards of the KKK would be proud of what they would hear her say because there's nothing more racist than saying that your skin color predicts something about the content of your viewpoints or your ideas. You didn't just say they would be proud, you said these are the words of the modern Grand Wizards of the modern KKK. It is the same spirit, you're right about that, Dana. I think it is the same spirit to say that I can look at you and based on just your skin color, that I know something about the content of your character, that I know something about the content of the viewpoints you're allowed to express. For Ayanna Presley to tell me that because of my skin color, I can't express my views, that is wrong. (laughs) She, the representative absolutely never said that about you. Uh, Stop projecting, but of course we got another MLK reference. Everybody drink, Uh, content of my character. Again, the thing that people who like to whitewash MLK's legacy love to talk about. But Senator Turner, before we get into what exactly Ayanna Presley said, just Vivek Ramaswamy. Not not backing down from calling a represent a black representative a modern leader of the KKK. Yeah, I mean, I feel the same feelings I felt. I was actually on CNN this past Sunday, and so as I was saying earlier, I was levitating, <laughs> literally levitating out of my seat as I was in the makeup chair. Just my my head is about to explode. Just even <laughs> thinking about this man, if she, if the Congresswoman, and we can take the title off. If Ayanna Presley lived a thousand years, she could never be compared to any grand wizard of the KKK. And I got to give Dana Dana Bash some credit here, which I told her this when I came on set. That I, I like how she tried to push him. She was trying to push him, but the dude is so self-absorbed. Yeah. I mean, he called white supremacy a unicorn, the pure unadulterated gall for him to just totally disregard the shooting in Jacksonville, to disregard the founding of this country to try to make his rehearsed points. Just because he's saying those things does not make it True. Mm-hmm. This man should be disqualified, quite frankly, even though, you know, my brother reminds me that this is not one of the qualifications for running for president. But to me, he really showed, if, if you haven't seen him already, his absolute true feelings and beliefs about black people in this country and the struggle of black people in this country and just his disregard for that struggle. And as Dana p- pointed out, The KKK terrorized, they were a white terrorist group, terrorized black people, lynched black people. But none of that mattered to this man at all. And then when she pressed him this point, 
She, she said, you know, she kept bringing it up over and over again. And he said, you're pulling one of my friend's comments. Like he called his own comments friends. Right. And yes. Dana called him out on that too. But he tried to over talk her and take over the show because this is the kind of egotistical maniac that this man actually is. He owes the Congresswoman. Now, let me put her title back on. He owes the Congresswoman and all black Americans an apology for trivializing our struggle in this country, period. Yeah, absolutely. You cannot throw that around so lightly. Um, and what he says is he's just being provocative. And he does this all the time, right? He says something incredibly outlandish, yeah. it gets coverage. And he's just like, I was just being provocative. I just want to have a conversation. Well, you can't just say those things, right? And again, he's he's trying to do, he's trying to tap the Trump train. You know, That's he's it. trying to do what Trump does, and Trump somehow gets away with it. And like, don't get me started on whether they would let a brand man get away with the same things that Donald Trump, but of course he would hate that I talked about him in the context of any kind of you know racism. Uh, but again, he, uh, there's so many things I want to say. Uh, but it is really important to know that, and, and what I what I want to just show is Ayanna Presley in her own words and what she did say because what he was doing was lifting an old quote from 2019. Um, she was she was elected a uh, congresswoman. She was a congresswoman. But it was actually an incredibly inspiring quote, if you ask me, from a con an annual conference called Net Roots Nation, um, and or Net Roots, and it was excellent. So just take a look at at this. We don't need any more brown faces that don't want to be a brown voice. We don't need black faces that don't want to be a black voice. We don't need Muslims that don't want to be a Muslim voice. We don't need queers that don't want to be a queer voice. Come on, speak it. And if you're worried about being marginalized and stereotyped, please don't even show up. Because we need you to represent that voice. Okay, so Look, I understand that people don't want to be only categorized. And I think we all agree, like we are far more than just our racial or you know ethnic or our religious identities. But what she is calling on everyone to do is to basically step up. And if you're gonna be in power, you have to actually understand that you represent a massive community of marginalized people or people with their own histories and you, you gotta represent them. And so Vivek Ramaswamy is doing everything he can to be a whitewashed, you know, Indian American man uh, in the GOP and absolutely not represent the concerns of Asian Americans, of Indian Americans, of anyone, uh, but to be the honorary white guy. And let's just call it what it is. Uh, yeah. So, Senator, any final thoughts on that? Hey, when the sermon has been preached, <laughs> we just say amen. Yeah. <laughs> I just. Before we move on, you guys have to know because it's my Monday and I have to just remind you guys that Vivek Ramaswamy is not an entrepreneur. Vivek Ramaswamy is not a scientist. He's called himself a scientist, he is not. He has been a an investor in bunk pharmaceuticals that he then cashed out on and made a ton of money selling. So this is from Matthew Gertz, who was able to summarize a new New York Times article that everyone should check out. He writes, how populist entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy got rich. One, found biotech firm with hedge fund slash venture capital money. Two, buy a patent for Alzheimer's drugs that had four failed trials, raise more money to take it to market. Three, take the company public, cash out. Four, drug fails fifth trial, investors wipe out. That's all it was. He was, he's good at doing this, just running his mouth and talking things up that are not real, that do not exist, just like his presidency. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.